Goodbye blackness. The final blackness is disappearing. See the black right there? This black right here? Well, it was all over here and it's all gone. Slowly filling in and taking out the black void. Making it fun and open and beautiful again. Big windows to let some light in. I finished the outside, guys. I... Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it is hot. Look at that. So don't worry about those two white things because I'm going to put signage in there. Everyone's stopping me and, and, and applauding and, and really liking um, the look. Really enjoying this. Uh, very happy that it, this is coming to town. And there's the blue. Everyone likes the orange better than the blue. You know? So I got all the, the green tape on the outside. I don't like a green tape on the inside, but you don't see it as much. And it's coming together. I'm really, really happy. I got the... You see the other accent I put at the green? The stuff I was painting in the back room? It looks really nice. It looks really bright. Alive. And I'm really happy. So the blackness inside is gone. That, like, that back black frame. We'll be sanding tomorrow and primering also. Tomorrow I'll be sanding this room. And I'll get to work primering all this tomorrow. I'm going to take that door out permanently we're going to use this as a walkway between my store and rosie's store so she could see me and i could see her so this would just basically go back to my store but we're just going to take the frame and everything off and just drywall inside so if people if people in the future want to rent this or something they can just put their own door in if they want but we're just going to leave it free 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 of a door it's going to just kind of drywall it there so there's, there's an exit here counter is going to be here for rosie and the cash register is going to be here and all the shelving and racks and all that stuff is going to come here. And because the overhead's so cheap, we can afford to lower the prices on our stuff. Then my board games, the board game and game and tabletop store is going to go here. And I'm still painting the last rack over here. So we're going to put the flooring here. So, so we're going to, I'm going to replace the frame door, frame door. And the ceiling is going to get fixed uh, on Thursday. And everything's already in good condition for the uh, for the city to come and and to make sure the fire exits are good. I put an exit sign up there. I didn't have one there, so I put an exit sign. I got my fire extinguishers, everything to go, everything smoke detectors, all good to go. And I'm gonna repaint that door one more time uh, from the inside. And this needs a second coat because it's it's just I just finishing it up right here. And I wanted to show you guys before I rolled it off. Rolled it on the last time, the last roll. And yeah, it's coming together. I can't wait to paint over the skull. Probably Tuesday. Or... Today's Monday. It's the last last Monday of uh, May. And it's really hot. It's, it's like 35 degrees outside. It's nice and cool here because the breeze, if you see the breeze, it's nice and breezy here. So many people walking by today. So many tourists are starting to arrive to town. A lot of them saying, oh, we'll, we're going to be back next month for the rodeo or something. And they're going to come back and check out the store when it's done. Um, I already picked up some Varsal to scrub on here. I'm going to scrub the Varsal on there. Get rid of that. But once the tape in the inside is gone, I think it's going to look nice and clean. But I'm liking the progress I'm getting right now. I think it's, I think it's worth it. I'm going to wire brush this later. I didn't do this door. I did this door. It's clean. Clean. So... Close the door here. It's like a little deco drive in Miami with these colors. So I'll get the mayor to come and visit me sometime. Maybe after I get this thing primer, I'll get him to come and visit me and check out the uh, establishment. See what he thinks. And yeah, I did the two colors there. Split. See the little split right there? Right there. I split that right there. It looks really nice. It took a long time. I was here baking in the heat, but it, it paid off. Now, I'm going to keep going forward and start doing the inside back. So I'm going to be working front. I'm going to finish painting this, and I'm going to work right to the back. So um, Brian will be here tomorrow sanding all this down and all this here. And he'll be sanding in here. First, first thing tomorrow, we're going to work on this room so I could primer it first. Once I got five, five gallon uh, pail of primer, 
So I'm gonna primer this thing right down. Get all the smell or anything that's left in it from the last, the last tenants, just get everything out. And then eventually, um, we'll be painting it and I already got the floors in the back room and we'll be laying the hardwood floors. So, got the floors for really cheap from a friend that's got a, a flooring company, very cheap actually. And right now, I'm still under a thousand bucks with the flooring and the primer, the primer's right there, the big pail. The, the ceiling um, tiles, um, the spray cans, all the stuff so far, the wood, the ply, the thing, I'm still under a thousand bucks, which is impressive. And I'm very happy. So I think I'm going to be a lot happier once the whole thing's primered and everything's off and it's all fresh. A good fresh start. Anyways, so I'm talking too much. I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below.